Today, April 4th, we are here at the Pohalo Marsh and Wildlife Sanctuary for the Future Farmers of America, or FFA's National Day of Service. This annual event brings together different chapters from across the state of Hawaii to come together to bond over their love of agriculture. April 3rd to 5th was the FFA Convention Week, with competitions, bonding activities such as talent shows, and service projects. On April 4th, FFA went to the state capitol to elect their new officers and talk to politicians. I think the big thing is education and awareness. So coming to the Capitol like they are today is encouraging to have other people come in and why it's so important to have FFA. So if you have that education and awareness going out, hopefully we'll have more schools and more advisors coming on to perpetuate these programs. One of the biggest challenges that FFA faces is recruiting students and teachers to get excited about the agriculture industry. The students, um, getting students interested, um, you know, and Guys like me, we're dinosaurs already. Um, you know, we're, we're, when we learned agriculture, it was all about production agriculture, growing, raising, making money. Um, and it's really changed. So with the new teachers coming in, hopefully they can bring in that new energy um, that will um, hopefully get the students interested. You know, kind of, um, they're not really interested in the old school um, production egg but you know where it's the uh, natural resources taking care of the land taking care of our natural resources so hopefully that'll perk some interest with the students I believe FFA has a big impact in um, our agriculture <laughs> because as you know there isn't much people who wants to join and be in the farming industry because as generations go on they want to become something more than that with FFA I believe we can put more people into the F um, our farming organization by this starts at the youth so it starts early so then we can have more farmers in here in Hawaii especially because we want to reduce the amount of imports here so we can start having our stronger ecosystem um, so we can support our own island. David Fuertes was a part of the FFA while he was in high school. After going back to college he became a teacher at Kohala High School and took part in the political action to save the FFA program. How can we revive it you know and one way of reviving it is through political action. And, and that's why um, by, by having the FFAers come to this and learning the legislative process, you know, you can make a change. After going to the state capitol, the Hawaii FFA chapters were split into three groups, one going to the Oahu Urban Garden, one going to Kalani High School, and the last to Pohala Wildlife Sanctuary. FFA, they helped us pull out a bunch of invasives. What we try to do here is, this is a sanctuary for endangered water birds and um, habitat restoration and maintenance is basically what we're trying to do today. So a lot of invasive plants, um, trying to clear out um, some riparian areas, drainage areas, and also um, um, try to, we also did some planting. So they, once we pulled plants out into the bare ground, we um, covered it with plants that they also grew. Even though all 15 chapters were split into three groups, the impact that they had in the areas they went to were still significant. I think today it's more about community-based. You know, we rarely see everyone here besides districts or states. So for the whole state to come together as a community, to regardless of what you know project or p location that they're in, we're able to come together and just work for a greater cause. Chloe Kitsu, Milani Times.